we'll first discuss the problem statement so the problem statement states that a uh, given an integer a uh, we need to generate a square matrix filled with elements from a to a square in spiral order so we are just given a value a an integer a as input and we need to fill a matrix in the spiral order having the values from 1 to a square so let's have a look at the constraints so the constraint is that the value of a lies between 1 and 1000 so constraints play a very important role while doing while solving any of the competitive programming question because it's it helps us understand the possible complexity we can deal with so suppose a lies from 1000 to 1 so we know that for the linear complexity we can do it we can do it in linear because a square is 10 power 6 and which allows us to move in the linear complexity okay so we can solve it in linear from 1 to a square which is 1 to 10 power 6 so this question has been asked in various good companies such as amazon microsoft jp morgan okay so let's have a look at the sample case so suppose the given input integer is 3 okay so we need to print we need to output an square matrix in the form of spiral order so what is spiral order here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so as you can see the elements are filled in sequence of a spiral order 1 2 3 which is right then down then left and then up and then right and so on so spiral order refers to right down left up right down left up and so on until the complete matrix is filled from 1 to n square elements now n equals to 3 so we know that n square would be 9 and hence the size of the matrix would be n into n which is n square okay so let's have a look at the logic so the logic is we need to initialize a variable well equals to 1 so why so because we need to start filling the matrix with the value 1 okay then we need to maintain a direction variable to maintain the direction to move in so what does this variable do it tells us that we need to move in the right direction then in the down then in the left then in the up and so on so as you can see the spiral order follows a particular sequence of direction which is first right then down then towards left then towards up and we need to continue this order as as long as the array isn't filled so this is something we need to keep in mind that the direction is fixed right down left top and keep moving in this following direction okay the fourth step is keep moving in the above order each time decrementing incrementing the current row or column index so as you can see the moving in right refers to just incrementing the column number in the given row Mo moving down refers to just incrementing the column number in the row number in a given column similarly moving left refers to increment decrementing the column number in the same row and moving up refers to decrementing the row number in the given column so with the help of these pointers or these indices we can just traverse the array or the matrix in the spiral order so while moving each time increment the value of the val variable so why do we need to do so because we know that when we are moving in right direction we need to print 1 2 3 then we are moving down 4 5 then 6 7 then 8 9 and so on so each time we need to increment the value in order to fill this output matrix so let's come to the coding section where we will develop a better understanding for this problem let's first uh, define the value of n equals to 3 in order to run this code for the given sample then let's call our method with this particular integer value so we'll call generate spiral or order okay this would be our method and we will send the value of n as a parameter okay so let's define our own method here which will uh, print the spiral order for us so let's have written generate spiral order so it takes an integer n as input okay so let's define our own variables here so int m equals to n so what are m and n we are treating m and n as the number of rows and columns respectively okay so this will help us traverse the matrix in the form of rows and columns so let's have some variables that i'm going to help you understand as we move forward so i'll just write it down at first r equals to m minus 1 and what should be b equals to n minus 1 okay so what i have written here i have declared four variables l t r b so initials for left top right and bottom 
so as you can see left is initialized with zero why let's have a look here because left leftmost column refers to the zeroth column okay and t equals to zero refers to the topmost row which is the zeroth row as indices starts from zero and r equals to m minus one so if we have m columns so m minus one refers to the last column because uh, indices are from zero to m minus one similarly b stands for bottommost row so n minus one would be the index of the bottommost row so that's why we have declared these four variables now let's declare the vector of vector which is a matrix which is a array of array so vector of vector of type int as each of the element are of type int and the size would be vector of int of m okay so what we have done we have just created a matrix of size n cross m which have n rows and m colors so we need to understand that here n is same as m we are just taking two different variables in order to keep a track okay why because it is a square matrix so rows number of rows is same as the number of columns which are both n here because if the input value is 3 we need to move till 3 square which is 9 so 3 by 3 matrix okay okay now let's uh, write down the first step which is initialize a val variable to 1 so this will help us keep a track of the value to be filled in the output matrix and let's have a character suppose direction equals to initialize to r so this character direction will help us to understand which direction are we currently in okay so r refers to right b ref t refers to top and so on okay so now let's write a root which i'll help you understand as we move forward so it should be this and what okay top is less than equals to bottom so what does this tell this tells this keep looping till l is less than or equals to r and t is less than or equals to b so what does it tell it tells that till left row is diff left column is not equals to the rightmost column and the topmost row is not same as the bottommost row okay so this refers to the end of matrix when these two conditions fail together or when any of these two conditions fail singularly okay so let's write the main logic here which i'll first write and then help you understand so if direction equals to equals to r then what we need to do for int i equals to l i is less than or equals to r i plus plus what do we need to do we need to set v of which should be t v of t i equals to value plus plus okay and get out of this loop top plus plus direction equals direction equals to d okay so i'll help you understand what i have done and then we will take care of the remaining cases okay so what i have done keep looping until the matrix is getting filled okay so this outer loop is for that case now if the direction is right so if the current direction is right that is we are moving towards right what we need to do we need to loop from l to r so what is l as i have told earlier l refers to the leftmost column r refers to the right rightmost column so as you can see whenever we are moving in the left direction or sorry whenever we are moving in the right direction we need to move from the leftmost column to the rightmost column and what are these columns these columns keep changing because once we have traversed these columns the space is only this much okay so that's why start from the leftmost column and move toward the rightmost column each time i plus plus why i plus plus because we need to move right so we need to increment the pointer to move right okay so i plus plus v of t i equals to value plus plus so what is v of t i so v of t i refers to t th row and i th column so t th row is fixed as you can see we are moving right so the row is fixed but the column keeps changing okay so the row is fixed the t th row why t because whenever we are moving towards right we are in the topmost row okay so v of t i i refers to the column that we are keep moving into okay so first column second column third column and so on so i is looping over the columns from leftmost to rightmost and we are setting these values to i plus plus now once we have moved 
towards the rightmost element what we need to do we need to set the direction to down why because the next direction to move in would be the downward towards the rightmost element what we need to do we need to set the direction to that we need to move down next time and why t plus plus because we have already set this topmost column so our t which is the topmost column becomes sorry we have already filled the topmost row which is this so our t becomes the up the next top which is the next row so t plus plus refers to if t equals to 0 then t equals to 1 this tells us that next time we need to traverse the topmost row which is this because this has already been filled then this will be getting filled then this will be getting filled and so on okay so this is this case when direction is right similarly when direction is what after moving right we need to move down so when direction is t so let's comment this out when direction is right and when direction is down okay so when direction is down as you can see when we need to move down we need to remain in the same column but keep changing the row from the topmost row to the bottommost row okay so let's have a loop accordingly what we need to do for int i equals to t i is less than or equals to b and i plus plus so let's understand this loop i equals to t so we need to loop from the topmost row to less than or equals to b to the bottommost row and each time we need to increment i then only we'll keep moving in different rows for the same column this way we will we will cover this particular column by filling the respective values okay so what will be these values v of what should come here i and i and r why r let's understand value plus plus so why r because we know that we are moving in the rightmost column and we keep changing the row that's why the row is the variable i which we are using in the loop and r remains constant for this particular column and once we have completed this iteration what we need to do we need to do r minus minus why because we have already covered this rightmost column so next time the column to be covered would be the one before it because we have already covered this so r minus minus so if uh, so if rightmost column was third column then next time the column to be covered would be the second column and then the first column and so on okay and uh, once we have moved towards the downward direction the next direction to move would be left so let's set it to l okay now let's just copy paste this part and uh, do it for the remaining two directions then i'll explain you what is actually happening so okay copy paste okay so we have done for the right and the down direction now the next direction to move in would be the left direction because right down left okay so let's route let's write it for the left direction first okay so direction is left so now let's see when the direction is left we need to move in the same row which is the bottom most row from the rightmost column to the leftmost column okay so what we need to do when the direction is left we need to iterate in the reverse direction that is from the rightmost column to the leftmost column so it would become this and this would become i minus minus y because we need to move in left direction so each time we decrement the column number okay and what would this be so as you can see in the left when we are moving in the left direction the row remains fixed but the column keeps changing so the row remains fixed as the bottommost row okay whenever we are moving left we are in the bottommost row so b and this would be the variable and value plus plus similarly when we we are moving in left direction so we have already traversed the bottommost row so that's why b minus minus instead of t plus plus why b minus was the bottommost row now the row that becomes our new bottom would be the row before it okay so that's why b minus minus as we are moving from third to the second row okay so just iterate over this okay so just iterate over this code once again and you will understand it very better so once we have traversed in the left direction the next direction is to be top okay so let's allow for the top finally 
so when direction is t which refers to top we need to iterate when we are moving top we need to iterate in the same column from the bottommost row to the topmost row so from the bottommost row to the topmost row and each time i minus minus because we are moving up so moving up refers to decrementing the row number in the same column so the variable would be row and the column remains same which is the leftmost column why because when we are moving top we are in the leftmost column when we are moving right we are in the topmost row and so on so value plus plus and once we are done with this so we need to do what when we have moved up we need to do left plus plus left plus plus why because we have already traversed the leftmost column and new leftmost column would be the one towards right of it and just set direction equals to what after moving top we need to move in right direction so let's set direction to right and this will do the top thing for us as well now let's check our code by printing out the values okay so for int i equals to 0 i is less than uh, what row number i plus plus okay now for int j equals to 0 j is less than m column number j plus plus just print c out uh, v of i j because v is the vector we are storing values into v of i j space separated for each row and each row on new line so let's see what gets printed let's uh, compile this code okay compile successfully let's run it one two three four five six okay so let me zoom in okay so as you can see the uh, the required output is here one two three so one two three four five four five six seven six seven in left and eight nine towards right eight nine towards right so spiral order refers to one two three in this direction three four five in downward direction five six seven in left direction seven eight in right top direction and similarly eight nine in right direction okay so we hope that you have understood this code so it's not an easy code to understand so we'll recommend you to move through each of this line once again on your own and keep looking and keep comparing it with this particular example to understand it better okay thanks for watching all the very best